welcome back to a new episode of Mario Kart 8 for the Nintendo Switch. I said it all right this time. Woo! In the last episode, we played as was it? Well, who did we play as? We played as Daisy, I know that. Oh yeah, we played as Link. I think it was a pre-up. Played as Link and Daisy. You know, like the last episode. Left over to play as Peach. We got the Vermint Park, or I guess the bike. Okay, we haven't played as that one, so. Do the Zora Wheelers and the Peach Parasol. Got a really good acceleration, really good handling. Transaction's pretty decent. The other two things, speed's not that great, and weight is terrible. But we got the final episode of Mirror Mode. We got Moon Cup, and we got Spiny Cup. Let's start Moon, Moon Cup. I do the Vernon Byways from Tour, Peach Gardens from DS, another reason I'm Piggy Peach, Mary Mountain, and Rainbow Road from the 3DS version. My favorite. Rainbow Road, if you guys don't know me. I love that. I love it. I love 3 It's okay! It's okay! It's okay! It's okay! It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fangirling I'm fa I'm fangirling over Rainbow Road. Or 3 ds Rainbow Road. Like if you don't know me, I'll fangirl over that. Like Yeah, I do. But yeah, I'm playing as this court cart, which is kinda of, kind of just a buggy. <laughs> Look at pieces on a bug, little buggy, but how how does how does control? Is this control good? Yeah, I think it's control fine too. Yeah, I guess it's just the type of cart motorcycle. <laughs> but yeah, let's do it. Ah, come on, come on, I meet each. Other. Yeah, but yeah, this is the final mirror mode. Not the final episode, the final of mirror mode. Oh god, oh, he just went into that. Oh god. And we got 200 to see. I probably won't I probably won't record any 200 CC tonight, but I'll do some I'll finish up the mirror mode at least, at the very least. So we got that. Can this guy hit toad the wedge? Oh come on. All the speed which wish we sleep and well I guess when this goes up, I'll be after Valentine's Day, so it'll be interesting seeing how Valentine's Day goes for people, because there's supposed to be a um, there's supposed to be a protest. On Uber's part, like on Uber drivers, on uh, around the c country. Hopefully, I don't know if they actually will do something. Oh, people actually protest. Actually, oh, speaking of which, I got a, I got a, I got a, um, I got a uh, shirt or two from this guy, Uber, Uber driver. Not a, not, he's a work for Uber. He's like a, another driver that does Uber and all that. He has a YouTube channel and everything. I think he did just change his YouTube channel name. I know his. I think it's called like. I can't even remember his name. His name. I think it's like M something barbecue. I don't know. Is the old channel used to be called like was it Jeff or like Uber Arizona or something like that? I think that's what his old channel name was. I mean, you might be able to find him if you search Uber Arizona. Maybe I don't. I don't, I don't know. Cause he changed his channel name. So, but yeah, I got I got a shirt from him. Basically, that said that I got actually two shirts from him. One says Declinology, the art of the the art of declining. Crash offers and all that is so funny. I actually, I'm actually wearing it now when I'm recording this. Like, or I, I posted it on Twitter like earlier today when I got them in the mail and all that. But yeah, I got a shirt that they said Declinology, the art of declining bed offers. Cause there, cause there's supposed to be a, like a protest on February 14th where people are not working doing Uber because they can't pay shit nowadays. Like literally, Uber can't pay shit. They can't pay drivers shit. Like, it's, it's ridiculous. It's, ridi it's just ridiculous. I know I mentioned this. In previous episodes and all that, but yeah, like Uber and just all the apps. Like I, sh like I said, I shouldn't be doing. Um, like I said I shouldn't be doing three apps to make all up up to up to twenty ish dollars an hour. Yeah, up to gross pay using my own car, using my expenses, up to twenty dollars an hour, and that's as long as you take every single offer. But they can see your offer going ten miles. Pick up a one mile drop off and pay you five bucks, like five bucks or some shit like that. Or they give you, was it? I remember, I know the other day they tried to send me an 80 mile trip for $37. One way, 80 miles, by the way. So, really, it was, really, if you want to drive back, it'll be 190, 190 miles for 37 bucks. Wait, what the fuck, Uber? What are you cracking? And, like, the thing is, I got my accept way in the last few months has gone down to single digits. Single digits. Cause I refuse to take anything under a dollar a mile. Like, literally, all I ask is for at least a dollar a mile on trips. And there's people that want, I mean, you should be getting more than that anyway. Like, we should be getting more than a dollar a mile on rides. 
You know people are paying probably two or three dollars a mile. That's the thing that's fucked up about Uber is like people are paying two or three dollars a mile for a trip, but none of the shit is going to drivers. None of the fucking shit are you just going to fucking drive at all. Like literally, I should have had to wheel on three different apps to make constantly twenty dollars an hour. Three apps, not one app. Three apps. And the thing is, if I don't have a trip at all, or a ride, or an order at all, and nothing popping up, and it's it's been thirty minutes, I get nothing. It's not, it's not like if I worked at McDonald's where it's like working at McDonald's and there's people there's no customers there's no customers and so you don't get anything at all you don't earn anything you don't earn, like you know you know how you get earned like a minimum pay, pay wage or a minimum hourly amount per hour at like McDonald's it's it's be really like currently if if you really be looking at McDonald's instead of getting seven twenty five an hour oh you only get seven twenty five an hour when there's customers. That's basically what it is. Like, imagine working at a job where you get paid only when you on a cousin, but it's only 725. I mean, obviously, I get more than 725 an hour, but which would be terrible if I did. Like, but said you don't, people can't live off that anyway. But yeah, but it's getting a point where like I have three fucking apps, sometimes four, even one more, and I'm still struggling to get twenty dollars an hour. Gross pay. Like, my my net, my net was twenty grand with four apps this past year, 2023. And I work like 50, almost 50 hours a week. That's how fucking bad it has gotten on Uber. And Grubhub and DoorDash. I mean, I make more money on food delivery, but like, Uber, really, I've done it where it's been during the middle of the day on a, at 5 p.m. or 6 p.m. in downtown at 5 o'clock is dead. It's fucking dead at 5 o'clock on a fucking Saturday. Like, you shouldn't be dead. And why should it be paying? Really, I went to also a college town the other day where it was busy, slam pad big with a bunch of wife, but every wire was 3 to $4. Every wife. Literally, I can spend 15, 20, maybe a half hour just getting why that pays slightly better. But like, seriously, Uber, pay the fucking drivers better. Like, I'm sorry that I'm swearing and cussing, but like, it's just, this is really ridiculous. It's the reason why there's fucking protests all around the fucking city now, but you hear it online and, and people and all that, and, uh, oh, and the, the problem with Pullman is not enough fucking people protest. Like, the point is, like, not, not enough people fucking protest as a different shit because, because three fucking dollar people, because people are taking three dollar orders every fucking day, every fucking day. So I got ninth place, because I, mainly, yeah, so yeah, it just, it pisses me off as a driver. Like, I'm sorry I'm swearing, and probably don't like that, but like, it pisses me off that, like, I'm working, people are working for pennies. So then, that, so then at the end of the year, they might be driving 50 grand a year. 15 grand a month, 50, 60, maybe 70, 70 grand, not money-wise, mileage. But they make like 30 or 40 grand before expenses. Yeah. Or, yeah. So yeah, like, there, like there, there, was, there was one guy, like for example, there was an article, there was one guy that said they made 100 grand. It's like, they didn't, the guy didn't make 100 grand. The guy made 63 grand. But, uh, before expenses. Like, I made 63 grand before expenses, but only came with 20 grand. Like, there's the guy, they claim that guy made 100, but no, the guy made 63 grand, actually. Because they don't, they don't count the whole, because they counted the, even what, what, the, what they took. Like, they, you don't, can't count that. You can't count what they take. Because, like, what you're being paid in your account is, is not, doesn't count what they take. Like, for example, if a ride pays, like, say you get offered a ride that pays $10, it will show up as your net. In your app and everything. Also, oh, you and that's how much you actually get paid in your in your account and everything. It's t it's, it's like ten dollars for this trip. But in reality, we say, oh, this driver made seventeen or some shit. Like, well, and like under gross, it will say seventeen. It will say seventeen, not ten. We know what you were putting in your account is ten, because they took seven dollars. Because maybe they took seven dollars away from you. You know that. Even though that customer probably, paid, like I said, that why and that probably why to pay twenty dollars or some shit or more, or that. I said I'd wide where I'd wide where I got paid fifteen, sixteen dollars to like twenty plus fucking miles. I don't like once or twice because nothing's popping up. But a customer paid fifty dollars for that same fucking ride. And Eber and Eber is telling people that oh, you will only take three dollars, thirty percent. Bullshit. Bullshit. No, it, no, it's like no. Like so, for example, imagine like it's like like it's like doing YouTube. And you tells you, oh, you made ten dollars on this video, and but in reality, in reality, in reality, you know, there's like, well, I think YouTube, I heard that they have like a, I think they have a 70, uh, 30 split. So say if you made, say if you say ten dollars, they give you seven dollars. No, on you, on you would be like, 
the, but if it was Uber, you're like, you get four dollars, but in reality, you get, in reality, we're paying you seven. But we took away three because of some bullshit fees. We all, because of insurance rates. Which is bullshit, because we pay for our own personal, one, we pay for our own personal insurance. And, and they don't, and like, there's times where insurances that deny people's claims because they don't have made the correct coverage according to their insurance companies and all that. Which is also kind of bullshit too, but but also you has a deductible with of us two thousand five hundred fucking dollars as a deductible. Like imagine getting an accident, and you had to pay Uber two thousand five hundred dollars even before they do anything, just so they can like oh, and that's just for filing a fucking claim with Uber. It's like oh yeah, we want two thousand five hundred dollars from you. You know the accident could be, and the accident could be less than a thousand dollars. The crazy the accident could be less than a thousand dollars for that too. That's that's the thing. It's like. Oh, we get an accident. You pay us two thousand five hundred. This point, well, I can fix that shit for the for, for less than that sometimes. Being, being on the accident, if it, I mean, obviously, like it's better just go with your current insurance because like current insurance probably have a lot better deductible on anyway. But like, but yeah, it's just a lot of bullshit. And I've I've dealt with a lot of bullshit on Uber a lot. I don't know how many I don't know how many times I also also speaking of like like I said you pay for a lot of shit. And they're like, they still money. I only had a ride the other day where I, I only, it was only like, a, like five miles, and I only did because like it was like, I got like, five, I was supposed to get like, I was supposed to get like five something for a five mile delivery, or not five delivery, but a ride from the airport. And the same they tipped me five dollars, so I got like ten something because with the tip. But we really only got nine something at the end of the day because, because they, because Lily was at a military, it was at a military base that I delivered to. I mean, I didn't pick them up at the airport. Well, they lived to like some like I guess military base nearby or something like that, or a uh, or I think we're still technically part of the airport, just on a different side of the airport, but not like at the terminal or anything. But, but I had to literally drop I had to drop them off at the gate, like the military gate area or government agency gate area, whatever it was. And he was like, because the trip was shorter than what it says, I got less. I got got 60, 60 cents less than it was promised. Than it was promised. I know it's only sixty cents. But like, fuck you, Uber. No, like, if you promise me five something, it better not be six. Even if it's six cents, even if it's like, it's fucking fucked up. Can you imagine that six cents? But imagine over millions of millions upon millions upon millions of drivers. Like, yes, I know six cents is not much, but imagine also rides where it's like a lot more than that. Like, imagine a ride that's like ten dollars difference on one ride. Tell us some bullshit being the drop off be closer than the when you decimate. Like, of course the fucking drop off is closer because I had to go to the military gate. Yes, they don't have fucking access to the fucking military, military gate. So that, I, like, I know it's only 60 cents, but I don't give a fuck. Like, if if you pawn me something, now pawn you better fucking give it to me. I don't care if it's, a, if it's a penny or not. I don't care if it's even a penny. Like, cause at the end of the day, it's stealing. Like, yeah, I should I should have gotten like, well, I think the wire was supposed. I think I was supposed to get like five twelve. With the Y, but I only got four four sixty something. I think or something like that. Like I don't I don't care. It like pisses me off. And like I'm I'm exposing them on Twitter on YouTube. I don't care. Like I don't really care at all. Like I know I'm writing a lot about about Uber. Yeah, I'm sorry I am, but like oh, we need to, how many how to skip this? There you go. There, skip that. I already saw the credits. We don't need the credits. We just went through this. But yeah, Uber Uber just Uber's just been pisses pisses me off. Sorry about sorry about this rant and all that, and like I'm sorry, sorry I have to cover your ears and all that, but it's been pissing me off. We play as with, we've been playing with Zeno though. At least we're playing as people we like, right? Uh, we go to the regular cart now. No, let's see. Hmm. I think we. Uh, what have we? What cart have we played as? Well, we play. We can play as a cat. One cat goozer. Let's do it. Um. Let's see. Uh, the cyber slicks. Hmm. Do the w wig wiggling. But yeah, I just Uber. Here's a piece of shit. What's crazy about Uber though? Lyft is worse. Like Lyft is worse. I get people like, Have you tried Lyft? Lyft is worse. Like every time, it pisses me off. Also, one thing that pisses me off when I pick up passengers and I and I mention stuff like this, because I sometimes I mention this to passengers too, because I know how much they're screwing up. I mean, a lot of them probably don't care. Like I'm gonna say, a lot of riders probably don't give a shit about driving at all. 
I mean, it clearly don't because also 90% of people I picked up probably don't even fucking tip. Not even tip a dollar. Which, dollar tip is shit anyway. Like, like I, I feel like I'm in a point where, like, I'm feeling like a point where if someone tips a dollar, I'm gonna fucking report you to Uber. I don't give a shit because that's insulting. It's insulting that, say, say, say if I took a ride that's like $16, but the driver paid, why to pay 50 what the f and then they tipped a dollar, so I got 17 but you paid $51 for that ride. Like, what the fuck? Like, you can't afford that fucking ride. Why don't tip more? If you can't afford that fucking ride, tip more, please. Like, seriously. You know, and then why can't it be like 25 fucking miles for 16 bucks, which I don't take at all anyway, because I don't take fucking any ride that's unless it pays at least a dollar a mile and at least pays five dollars, but like, I shouldn't be sitting, I shouldn't be sitting, like, the reason why, the reason I've been doing food delivery a lot really, because they actually can fucking pay drivers for once. But even then, food delivery can be bad because obviously, thing is, it, literally, I've done food delivery all, as well but, and have multiple apps running at the same, like three apps running at the same time and it takes me 20, 30 minutes before I even get a good offer or just get an offer in general. This time when I'm working, it takes like that long to even get an offer. But it's even worse when it, when I do get offers and they're all shit, like $2, $3, $2, $3, $2, $3, $4, $3, $3, like all back and forth. Like it's so annoying. I have that happen multiple times. I have that has happened all the time. It's like, I can't fucking take those. People need to stop fucking taking those. And fucking DoorDash needs to stop fucking paying people two dollars for delivery, no matter the distance. Cause I seen two dollar deliveries going eleven fucking miles. It's fucking ridiculous. Imagine, imagine going. Imagine going. Was it? Ele imagine going eleven miles and getting paid two bucks. Like fuck you, you bro. And now, and now we had to. What's crazy is I had a, also speaking of GrubHub, I had a GrubHub customer where I went. Like 13 miles, it wasn't for two bucks, it was like for like 12 bucks. You know what's the only reason I did it is because I was, was back to downtown and I wanted to get to, into a busy area. And not just that, and like I was in an area where I was like, wasn't getting anything and just was far away. And just, I want to drive back to downtown anyway. And like, I was still okay. Sometimes, sometimes I sometimes I do a roughly a dollar a mile or roughly under a dollar a mile if I can if I can get a ride back to the city. Like, I might do that or an area where I want to go. Hope that I hope it'd be busier and all that. Cause if I'm in a slower area, I might do that. But um, but yeah, but yeah, that grub over I took though was terrible. The customer was fucking terrible. I called the customer, customer, cause I, cause it, it was like I couldn't find a way, place to park where in downtown where he was at as building. And then as soon as I called him, he gave me a fucking attitude about how, oh you better, you better. like the first thing he said to me was, oh you better not be calling about oh, how I'm not getting in, cause it, cause all the instructions said he had to call the a buzzer to get in. And all that, and like I was even I had trouble finding where, where the entrance even was. Like I had trouble finding where the entrance was. And as soon as he called, he gave me an attitude, like about how, oh, you better not be calling, and be like I could be sure. Like I don't, I don't, I don't give a shit, dude. Like I drove twelve fucking miles to get. He better not be fucking rude to me. Like, like I've done that a few times where I got people who are just fucking assholes to drivers. Like it's all just that. So like this, like, like there's times where I picked up people, and people are just fucking assholes to fucking those drivers too. Like, that one guy, like, 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 once he starts saying that shit, I just hanged up on, I just hanged up on him. Like, I don't have fucking time for that. Like, I don't have fucking time for a, for a customer being so rude to me, saying like, Oh, you better not be, you better be called to let, to, to let, to let me, like, dude, I'm delivering your, I'm delivering your fucking food. And of course then, of course there was, then there was, then I know, then I also noticed that, um, what's it, um, then I also, then I also noticed that the, like, then he started call. Then after I hanged up on him, he started to call me like five times. So I had to block his fucking number. And I fucking hate that about people when like literally I hang up on you or don't answer the phone because I'm because I don't want to fucking talk to you. Don't fucking call me five times, please. I'm sorry that sorry if you have an issue with your order, but don't fucking call me five times. I barely get fucking paid for this shit anyway. Like I barely get paid any. Sh I get like I said, like I said, these food apps are paying me two dollars a delivery plus tips. So I'm mean, like I like and I, and I was looking at it and I was also I was also also I don't drop off order yeah he tipped yeah he tipped me yes he tipped me four bucks for going 13 miles which is pathetic you probably didn't even know that he ordered it from the for the third third of Marcos anyway but you know I tried to tell him that but he probably didn't care at all I mean clearly didn't care because the first thing like I call, I was even nice to him at first like uh I'm sorry I'm having trouble finding where you're at I'm having trouble parking literally I said that he's like he's like you better not have any you better not be having any issues with your trying, trying to get in it's like fuck you dude just fuck you I didn't say fully say that but like but like seriously it pisses me off like it's not just pisses me off for that you know that um 
the Uber and DoorDash and all these ass paid people clap. But it's, it fucking sucks when they get wa wa riders or customers who treat drivers like shit already. Like, they, we all had to go through all this shit. Like, I barely get paid any, any money at all in, in, the, in the first place anyway. And I was trying to survive on bills and all that. And the inflation is already like crazy, but like my, like my pay has gone down over time. And, I, and I'm not counting inflation either. Like, I'm not counting inflation at all. Because, obviously, obviously, if we make the same amount and inflation is still, still inflation, you're still making, learning less money. But it's even worse when you're already making less money without inflation. That's what's fucked up. Like I said, in 2022, 2022 is a lot better. Like, 2022? 2023 was was a lot worse than 2022 in terms of pay on these apps. Like, it's crazy. I mean, it's also so oversaturated, but like, for the issues, people just take anything for no fucking reason. And the reason they take everything because they're too desperate. And like, and, oh, and they, or there's people that think, oh, I want an all witch diamond status. Like, who give a shit? I don't give a fuck give a shit about the rewards. I don't fucking give a shit about getting diamond status because I'd have a, because I'd have an 85 acceptance weight, a 4% cancellation weight, and a 4.85 out of 5 stars, which, I mean, that's not hard. The star is a crazy one, it's not hard to do. But the, but the 4% cancellation weight is part of the hardest to do. 85 can, a acceptance weight is also really hard to do. When they pay shit, when they pay you, like, what is it, 65 cents a mile, when they pay you, like, it's hard to get 85% acceptance weight when they pay you 60 cents a mile, or even worse, a 50 cents a mile ride, not counting round trip. 37 dollars for 80 miles? I mean that's what I think they've been doing that all day. Or was it 125 for 250 one way? So 500 mile round trip for 125 dollars. Fuck you, Uber. And I saw and I saw also another one that was like 22 dollars for 40 miles the other day. Fuck you, Uber. I mean that why should be 80 dollars, not 22. I mean it should be 80 because you kind of know why drive that. I can maybe handle it for 60. I can maybe handle it with sixty dollars because at least then, uh, at least then you might have a wide out. That might be like a little bit back on the way back. Like it wouldn't be that bad if you're only making sixty going eighty miles round trip. I mean, it needs to be at least fifty or sixty. That one that was forty miles. I'm like, yeah, because you you had to count. Being on, I mean, you had to count the way back. Unless you're just gonna have a wide wider way afterwards. That's on the way back. But no, but they can't. But twenty two going one way. No, no. Pathetic. And what's crazy, Lyft is worse than all this. Like, all the weights I'm talking about, Lyft is worse. Because they're greed. They're fucking, it's just corporate greed. It really, it really is. All this corporate greed from these companies, it's just, ugh. Like, I, I just can't, I just can't stand it. I really can't. Like, we need, like, they need to treat, they need to fucking treat drivers better. They really do. But they don't give a shit about us. I mean, they don't, like, so we pay for our own gas. We pay for our own gas, for our own expenses and stuff. And like we pay for we pay for everything. We pay for our own maintenance and a lot. And like they only want to pay us twenty dollars an hour, no matter the distance. They they really do. Like think about thirty seven thirty seven dollars for for an hour and a half one way drive. Roughly about. Yeah, that's basically that's basically what that's basically what I'm saying. Like they only want to try and pay us tw roughly twenty dollars. Some like maybe a little more, but I see all the time. I because I see all the time from Uber that says. Oh, as long as you take everything, as long like we have data that backs up says as long like the way the data shows, as long as, if you take like it only counts the people that t that have as as a six percent or higher acceptance weight. They have it where they have a data that shows you can make between eighteen to thirty dollars an hour as long as long as you take everything. It's like bullshit. As long as you take everything, but then you look at the fucking thing. It says also on the little thing that oh six. Oh, uh, this data is only calculated the, of all the people, all the people that are at 60, 60 percent or higher acceptance weight. Bullshit! No, it should count every fucking driver. Like, it should count fucking every fucking driver. It should count all the fucking two, two percenters, the ten percenters, all the cherry pick, which is probably the majority of lot drivers. I mean, the majority of drivers are probably like me, who are cherry picking like crazy and barely making anything because of the cherry picking, but also not wasting so much gas. Probably not. But I'm not the type of driver that drives $300, 300 miles a day to make 200 bucks. Or more. Or less. Or less. Like, there's probably drivers that drive 300, 300 miles a day and make less than $200. Maybe less than 150 You never know. There might be drivers out there that be driving 300 miles but making less than $150. They probably are. They probably are. That's 50 cents a dollar. And that's only 50 cents a mile. And that's pathetic. 
Because 65, the, the, the tax rate for, in 2023, it's actually more now, but in 2023, the tax rate for deduction on taxes is 65 cents. And that was supposed to just cover your car. Like, the 65 cents is just supposed to cover your car only. That's it. It can't pay the fucking bills. It can't pay, like, can't do all this shit. There's a reason why I do DoorDash Grab out any rates nowadays. And I'm still, still struggling making barely anything. Like, it's, it's pathetic. Like, I should be, I mean, I should make a lot, a lot more. Like, like, people should make a lot, lot more on Uber and DoorDash. Like, like, I've been working 50 hours a week, and there's times, there's, like, there's times where we're working 10 hours or 12 hours to get $200. Like, that's pathetic. Like, cause, cause even if you make $20 an hour, that's, that's only, even if you make $20 an hour, which, I mean, $20 seems a lot, but it's not really. Like, $20 an hour is only 40 grand a year. Like, $20, dollars an hour is only 40 grand a year. 40 grand. And, like, none of this shit, and none of this shit kind of expensive. I mean, that's if you work 40 hours, not 50 hours, but. Well, said, I'm working 50 hours to make probably that amount. Like, I'm probably make, I'm probably making, I'm probably, like I said, I'm probably making, probably make, probably, I made a little more than that. Cause I guess, I guess it will be $800 a week if you did 40 hours, but. But it's just still pathetic, this. But like I said, all this, all this is just gross pay. None of this count expenses, none of this count gas, maintenance, taxes, none of that. It's great that they take, you know, but it's also the crazy thing about, like, like, the thing is, do you, like, so you know how I mentioned how they take, you know, 50 to 60 percent or more, or more than that? None of that counts taxes. None of that counts taxes. No, it's 60, 60, 70 percent before taxes that they take. Which is just fucking messed up. But, like, imagine having a job where you pay, where you only get, like, 20, 30 percent of what, 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 of what you're working, what a company and everything. And then, and then, like, they're using your own car, your own maintenance for. Even though they claim that drivers make 70%, but 70% before expenses, before their take. Like, so, like, so they take, they say they take 30, but really it's 50 to 60% once you factor in all the other fucking fees. Maybe even 70, maybe sometimes 70% they take. I've seen Lyft take 80% before. 80% they take Lyft. Fuck you. And it's crazy, there's people that pay more for Lyft. Like the people that, but like, I never see it. I never seen a Lyft ride paid more than Uber. Never, never. And so when I hear people say they paid more for a Lyft ride, why? It should be less. Like it should be less. Like if you order Lyft, it should be less because drivers are making less money on Lyft than Uber. But somehow they take more, or they, it's bullshit. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I, mean, I, I, remember, I remember one time I took an Uber to the airport from Dallas to the airport. And it was like only like it's like maybe like I mean it took like 30 to 35 minutes. I paid fifty dollars on Uber. On, I mean on Lyft. And I couldn't use Uber for and Uber wasn't going through. I was gonna use Uber because Uber wasn't going through, but I I spent actually fifteen dollars on Lyft. And it's crazy is I know none of that's going to the driver. That's what fucking that's fucked up. I knew none of that fucking shit is going to the driver. So like I like I probably paid fifty and that guy probably gained twelve. That's probably what it was. Like I bet that's probably what happened is like I paid fifty, but my driver probably gained twelve dollars. Because on, on Uber it might be 16 or 18 maybe, but on, on, on Lyft, it's probably, it's probably like, it's probably like, probably 12. I paid 50, but the driver gets 12. That's probably what it was. I mean, I didn't ask him that, but I'm, I'm predicting that. I mean, I still tipped him, so he got more than that, but, but still, it pisses me off. And I think that's the end of this result, because I'm probably got done and tired of ranting about Uber. God, this is the ranting episode, isn't it? Oh god, I know you probably don't like this. It's probably this. Ugh. I mean, this is what I found him today. This past Valentine's Day was supposed to, hopefully, I don't know. Obviously, this is recording right before Valentine's Day, so hopefully, something's being done about Hopefully, something. Hopefully, people actually protested on Valentine's Day for once. They need to. Because I've been treated like shit. Like I said, I had, I had one ride that was 60, 60 cents. They took him for me just because he was like, that. oh, but it's not a military base I couldn't get to. But yeah, it's just bullshit like that. <laughs> we got first of all, at least. We don't be running a lot. We got first of all. Spiny cup. Spiny cup. Spiny cup. Woolly not. Oh, this was a good one, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, there's the credits. I don't need credits. I don't need credits for this. Because you know that. Because you know the next episode we just do 200 CC. So yeah, I guess I guess I'll see you guys. I guess that means I'll see you guys in the next episode of Mario Kart 8 as we do 200cc.
in, in I guess the mushroom cup, mushroom shell cup, we do two hundred cc. So see you guys next time here. We say we play out. Well, I'm out. Bye bye.